Hello, this is Harry and Jason from GatheringHeritage.com and we'd like to bring you down Clambrassel Street in the 1980s. We're going to look back on some photographs. So hello to Harry Lee. How are you, Jason? And uh, yes, indeed, we got these photographs uh, of Clambrassel Street, an awful lot of them away from Clambrassel, but we're concentrating on Clambrassel Street with this little clip. And uh, these are photographs that we reckon hasn't been seen. Uh, I certainly haven't seen them in either as Jason before. So we're just going to have a little talk about uh, Clambrassel Street. Now, they were all seem to have been taken when there's no cars around so it must have been a Sunday or something that they were taken but we'll talk about that later on but um, this particular clip that uh, you are looking at now the one thing that stands out a mile of course is particularly for my generation is Woolworth which is of course now Boyd's and uh, it was a great shop of course and to the left is the post office very naturally exactly the same as it was uh, you don't remember an awful lot of these no uh, I, I remember uh, Woolworths I remember going in there when I was about eight years of age they used to have everybody remembers the sweets towards yeah. the back and the toys yeah so i i do have very fond memories of uh Woolworths, harry it was and and lambrose yeah. yeah. so the, b before in between the post office though and Woolworths, there is levy's chemist shop which yeah. is still there of course so, I, i'm right in thinking harry that the, the sign is still outside i uh, have a funny feeling yes yeah. i think it is yeah. it might be it might be it just changed but the, i'm nearly that sure it's there, there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah now moving down a little bit the far side of Woolworths is uh connelly's Connolly Shoe Shop. It used to be Saxon Shoe Shop, actually, way back in the 50s. They were a, a, an English company right. that had shops all over Ireland, yeah. And a very and distinctive looking fr uh, front, Harry. It is, yeah. And they kept the front. The only thing that it na they changed was the Connolly name. That was, they turned it into a man's only shop. Right. And, yeah. <laughs> And next door to that, uh, Old McCall's. No, and I, I don't remember that, was oh, it? Oh, they've been there uh, up until, well, maybe, I don't know, seven, eight years ago. Okay. And they did um, men's clothing. Right, right. And um, now the one after that with the blue pillars, the blue pillars are still there. They are. But I can't remember uh, way back in those. What that was what in was the 80s. There. It is ch everybody knows that it, that has gone through a succession of different yeah, restaurants. Yeah. And cafes, um, but the, I, I didn't realize the blue pillars were way back in the 80s. We're no, I did We're I. talking nearly uh, 30 years ago. So Yeah. Now, further uh, down, that shop that's up for sale, I have a funny feeling that was a seed shop. This now, shop? Yeah. Right. Uh, I could be wrong. I'm sure people will let mm, me okay, know. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, I, I don't know what either of those. We can't make out the uh, name of were, it. No. And um, music tapes, of course, there yes. were all the yellow posters that. on them, yes. Ronan down there. <laughs> yeah, he I bought my first record there yeah. and my first tape and my first stereo in there. Yeah, yeah, and he used to have a wee shop up in Park Street, and right. then he was so busy that he moved down there, and he was there for years and years. Okay, now so that that's the first little uh, lot yes. that, that we okay. have. Now, we are going to um, move. What's the next one now? Okay, um, we'll move on. We'll move oh, on. yeah. Now, this is up my area in from Hill Street. This is not Lombrasa Street. But we just thought this is Jason's baby here. Yeah. Because, uh, now, we own that Batten Ram, actually, <laughs> us Hill Street fellas. <laughs> fellas from Dublin Street and Parnell Park and everything tried to take it over. But we had Peter Conlon from Hughes' Park defending right. it with his life. Right. Yeah. Well, Harry, let me tell you. Anybody from my generation who was a kid of the 80s stood exactly where that photograph was taken. That was an iconic piece of architecture in Dundalk because if you were coming from the Avenue Road direction of town, you had to cross that bridge because yeah. the railway tracks were actually of course, still... Yeah, that's the railways that came up from yeah, Barrick Street. They were still yeah. in existence. They used, I, I remember trains running underneath, underneath that bridge yeah. from the brewery that used to leave kegs down to the crane down below in the yard. But... Of course, the main reason that you were coming up uh, uh, up to this bridge to have a look was you ha either wanted to get into the shopping centre. So anybody, you know, any of the new kids that are looking, uh, the new Tesco is here now. That's what the old shopping centre used to look like. And can you make out the lettering here, Harry? 
Ashley Arms. Ashley Arms. Yes, indeed. And many's a good meal. And, they, <laughs> and drink. They used to have uh, discos and stuff on. And they it, did, didn't they? yeah. They did. Yeah. And that, that evolved into Paz eventually. Yeah. And uh, I think the, I think the, one of the ways was getting up was it was up the stairs this That's way right, underneath yeah. that little canopy yeah. there, and then the building next to that. Harry, can you oh, remember yeah, what that, that was? was the, the cinema, at the casino. I yeah, know, we were, that were great days. Well, for the eighties yeah. kids, um, we we were spoiled at one point in time where we might have had three functioning uh, cinemas, and one was the casino. So I remember mm. seeing uh, some of the later 80s movies, Crocodile Dundee, 1986. I saw it in there. You used to queue up. Now, funny enough, mm. you didn't get in uh, from this direction. No, you kind of had to go around the, the corner. Around the side. Around, around the corner yeah, to get into it. Exactly. But it's yeah. amazing to see all the open space that's there, Harry, in mm. that photograph. Well, that was for a car park. And, of course, for, over to the right there was where the Gales football, yeah. so, football field uh, is now, yeah. but it was enormous at the back there, wasn't yeah, it? With it, nothing on it. it. <laughs> it's amazing to see how much yeah, space. Of yeah. course, this is the the aircon building that's still there in Stapleton Court. Is that what they call that? Uh, yeah, Stapleton Court. Actually, uh, now I don't think Jason, that's the Stapleton Court is there now because I, I, Stapleton I Court now, you know, is right. all one length. Okay, and there was no gap in between. Well, it there. no, I th I think what you're thinking of is that's a separate building. There's a car wash here now. But anyway, we'll agree to disagree. But they, they, they're, they're, no, they're, they're Jason, I think you're, I think you're completely wrong there. <laughs> right, now, but okay. we we'll argue about. Yeah, I'm sure. I think I think I think Stephen Court wasn't even built at that time. But anyway, right, okay. listen, let's get back to there, Clumbrasa Street. Okay, then. and we'll move on to Clumbrasa Street. Yeah, All we'll right. go back okay. to Clumbrasa Street. Now, um, this of course is Hannity's shoe shop, which is uh, been there for years and years, and the building actually is preserved. You can't uh, touch the front of it been f there for I didn't a, know that Harry. I didn't oh, yeah. know that it, it is under preservation, uh, preservation okay. yeah. Yeah. yeah now you can see the sign above it in the white there P Martin Victualler which is a butcher you don't, they're not called Victuallers anymore well, they but their the shop day. actually was where the two ladies are there at the, at okay. the front right. they're standing outside the uh, shop now their yellow thing here is a great wee story because at the very front if you move over yeah just there that used to be a little door and uh, a lady used to go in there and sit there like a telephone case that's all it was and she used to sell ice cream and wee bars of chocolate and everything Amazing. like that how she got in, in that i don't what, know about three feet wide yeah and then now that's gone now of course mm. uh, hannity's bought that and they have a shop window um there now the lawn hotel of course okay. is just before the lawn i think that was a bar just right here? Some, yes, I think that was a bar. That looks like I, a bar sign there, all yeah. right, Harry, but I can't make it out. But yeah. I do remember the Lorne Hotel, and I do remember Lorne, the sign yeah, for the Lorne Hotel. Lorne Hotel was where I got, uh, we had our reception for our wedding, and loads and loaded and dog Many people. Many people did. Yeah, nine o'clock in the morning, no <laughs> such thing as drink <laughs> or anything like that at that hour of the morning. Well, it was, yeah, it's yeah. amazing, Harry, something that catches my eye is the cigarette advertisement, or the cigarette pack. Yeah, that was Carl's number one yeah. there, which was, of course, uh, I suppose the biggest seller. Uh, you, you would know. not get away with that now. No, you know what no. I mean. It, the times have certainly changed. You couldn't yeah. advertise. Yeah. Uh, the uh, as you, again, you can see there's very very little traffic uh, on it. Uh, it looks as if there's a complete swing round the corner there. Yet when you're standing in Clumbrasa, it doesn't street, seem you can't like see it. it. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> it doesn't, that it doesn't seem like. Me. Yeah. So um, we'll move on, Jason. Okay. To, we'll move on to, to the next the, one. Uh, right. Next one. Right. Now this, this is now? some lovely little shops. A lovely clip this actually uh, McCusker's hairdressing do you remember all the McCusker I do bird? remember that yeah. sign is that still there in, in, it, no well it's not a hairdresser it's uh, uh, one that of was there shops. until very recently um, I, I'm not quite sure now but the Continental Meat Centre I remember uh, that, that was there for yeah. you got salami and yeah. all of that now Jack McCann next to it there okay. next yeah was Jack was a brilliant bicycle rider in his day okay. and he had a bicycle shop there and he did an absolutely wonderful um, business there 
and his son actually uh, then he started going into televisions and that when the son ah, was there right okay. and um now next to that was stuart's fish shop okay. and uh, this old chickens and fish and everything and uh, barbecued chickens you see that sign up i there? do yeah I and i see the I, sign painted on the wall here yeah. fish poultry and flowers and, flowers. and they call you see uh, chickens poultry right that was the posh way that was the posh yes, <laughs> indeed but there were a hard task uh, there's some still some of the boys uh, alive okay. but they were they ran a brilliant brilliant shop there okay. now uh, we moved down down to um back the back house center yeah. and the back house center, quite big uh, yeah oh it is it is very big and uh, what year again is this 84 uh, 84 uh because uh 84 yeah well tom mcgrath bought that Mm -hmm. from bag houses had only one big big shop in it right and then uh, a man called tom mcgrath who owned a pub above an Ann street after okay that, came back from england i think and uh, he got involved with the, the dog football club and he was the man who was responsible for turning the pitch round all right way back in 1966 so an innovative tinker he, he bought that and he had a supermarket in there which went very well and he does this he broke it up okay into the and, different and things. there was a pub or a nightclub d down there was below there was the place called level. a place called the cellars the cellars is right. and the cellars is still there it's right. not yeah <laughs> my favorite thing about them is they used to have uh, i remember frank patterson myself mm. going down to say a uh, tenor going down and it really hold maybe about 70 or 80 people yeah yeah but it was it was a very popular okay. um place and you it, recognize that sign yeah Harry? The sign of course is for the boils snooker club is it boils yeah. i don't know or is it yeah, yeah isn't, okay isn't it the, the, or is the, it potter's snooker club yeah or is it no the boils no isn't it uh, okay well is I'll, boiler, Riley, I'll, it? I'll have to have a look at that sign i know i know um that sign is still there so we'll, we'll have to have a look at the next time we go yeah yeah okay. we move, no, on, to the next move one? on to the next All one right. Now, this is a fine photograph. Yes, indeed. This takes in now right down to the very end of Clambrassa Street. Now, we can't see some of them away down there. But let's just start a modern fashions, which yep. is still there to yes, the left. Yes. Patrick V. McGann, of course, he was a chemist. There is still a chemist there. Yeah. Baghouses took it over then mm. after that. But And, and it's uh, I'm not quite sure whether there's still baghouses or not, but it is still there. And an awful lot of, of people, you know, lived over these yeah, shops. Yeah, you said that to me before. Yeah. Yeah. and the buildings are beautiful. Oh, they, 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 they did, are and really they, beautiful. There, there was a great talk a few years ago about redoing all them up and making them into to flats. apartments. Yeah. yeah, I think that's the way they have it in Dublin. Well, I, I mean, I know future. that Deary's lived over it, mm. Leeds lived over it, Connolly's lived over mm. it. They all lived in Clembrass history. Right. But we moved down then anyway to the DPM, which, of course, is a meat center, a, a butcher's, actually. Yeah, it was. Then the Allard Irish Bank, which is a wee tiny little bank there. Um, after that, then, is uh, Francis Short. Is that Francis Short? Francis no, Phil Short. Lynch. Phil yeah. Lynch, yeah. I, I don't yeah. remember Phil Lynch having a, a shop there. I but... think that was Phil's for every first one. And all he right. moved then up to okay. uh, across the road from the post office. Okay. I think that okay. he had a huge shop up there. And the one next to it there is Francis Short, who was yeah. a jeweler's, and uh, Duffy's Hardware, who yeah. that building there went right out to the very back down in the Long Walk, mm -hmm. where they did all sorts of uh, hardware and uh, timber and everything like that. Uh, Conley Shoe Shop after yeah. that and can you make out that sign harry uh, that's mccourt's arcade. arcade yeah yeah and um mccourt's arcade of course would be very famous during the early days of the festival where they had a big barn and they used to call it mccourt's hoedown <laughs> yeah and yeah and we all went down there and they had they had uh, for sitting down and straw and mm. bales of straw and everything you know so um it's it's getting a wee bit more difficult now that one that jen's just well, pointing out there is lates yes where i spent many a year i worked there for years and years and years and uh, that's really as far as you can okay. see down so a lovely view we hope people have enjoyed that trip down memory lane that is five photographs of probably 300 that we have um, if you like that trip down Cambrassa Street, uh, Harry and I, uh, as part of Baltina and with support of the Library and Dundalk Credit Union, are putting on a trip down Cambrassa Street 
on the 12th of May. Um, so if, please contact the library uh, to reserve a place for that. So that's on the 12th of May where we'll s discuss and show more photographs and yeah. some video of uh, Combassa uh, yeah, Street. Not all of these photographs. There will be a, 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 a very good video about it, not just the shops, mm. about things that happened during the time that I worked on Clambrassa Street. Short clips and well, well worth seeing. That's okay. on the 12th of May. 12th of May. Yes, and then just to wrap it up, um, we'd like your help, uh, if, ha having watched all these photographs, and there are lots more of them, to find a gentleman called jerry who left a cd with harry not so long ago with hundreds of these photographs so we're putting the word out on facebook and we'd like jerry to contact us and